everybody, it's is Louisa and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a what is on my iPhone XS because I did one quite a few months ago now but I thought I'd do an updated one because I always get requested to do these videos and I've got quite a lot of new subscribers since my last one which probably haven't seen that video so I thought I'd do an updated one seeing as my apps have changed quite a bit. If you guys enjoy the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel if you're new because it would mean the world to me and make sure to follow me on my Instagram. Without further ado let's get on with the video. So I'm going to start off the video by showing you guys what my phone looks like and like what phone case I have and stuff like that. So this is just what my phone looks like. It's the iPhone XS in gold um, and at the moment I've just got a clear like see-through phone case on just because I think it looks nicer when you can see the gold colour through it because um, I really like the colour of it. Yeah I just got this case off Amazon I think. I had this phone since last January. I got it for my birthday so I had it for around seven months when I'm filming this. So I'm just going to sit over here so that I can put my like screen recording on the screen here so that you guys can see what is on my iPhone. This is just my lock screen. It's so boring and basic. Uh, but literally like I never know what to have as my lock screen so I just like marble because it's really like aesthetic and simple. So this is just what my phone looks like when you log on to it. So I'm just going to go through the basic boring apps really quickly. So I have FaceTime, calendar, photos, mail. I have a lot of mail but it's literally all junk mail and I can't open it all because that would literally take hours. So then I have clock, maps, weather and notes. I use notes all the time to just like remind me to do stuff. And then I have reminders, news, stocks, TV, iTunes store, app store, books, health, home, wallet, settings and camera. To be honest, I don't really use like many of them at all. I literally only use the camera, maps sometimes, and the app store to download apps obviously. So literally don't use any of them, but they're just there. And at the bottom, I just have some like basic apps that I use all the time. So I have a phone, but obviously to ring people. I don't really phone that many people other than like my mum, my brother, my dad. I just like FaceTime friends and house party them. Um, and then I have messages. Um, again, I don't really use messages that much. I tend to just Snapchat people or like Instagram DM, stuff like that. And then I have YouTube, which obviously you guys are watching me on. So make sure to subscribe to me if you're new to my channel. This is just what my channel looks like. We've gained so much recently, so thank you guys so much. I'm actually pre-filming this, so there'll be a lot more uploads on my channel like when this goes up, but here are just my recent uploads. A lot of my videos are doing really well at the moment, so thank you guys so much. And then I have Google, which I use like all the time. I just really like to like Google stuff to know what's going on in the world. I always Google the weather. I just look at the Google News. Like the Google News is always really interesting. I use Google a lot. And also for like homework and stuff, if I need to research something. And then I'm just gonna swipe right. And here's like my last page where I have all of my other apps. So I just have eight folders. So the first folder is editing. In here, I just have all of my editing apps for Instagram posts and videos and stuff. I tend to edit on my MacBook, but if I'm like away or something and I need to edit on my phone, then it's just an option here. So the first app I have is Layout. This is just where you can make like collages for posts. I don't really use it. And then I have iMovie, which is what I use to edit videos, but I don't edit any YouTube videos on here to be honest. And then I have Fonto, which a lot of YouTubers use to edit their thumbnails if they don't have like a MacBook. I don't edit my thumbnails on here, but basically you can just like add a photo um, from your photo library and then you can add text onto it um, for thumbnails or just anything really. Really good app actually. Then I have Preview which is such a good app. Basically it just has all of your Instagram photos and you can upload a photo onto here and it will just show you what it looks like on your Instagram feed like before you upload it actually onto your Instagram. And then I have Huji which um, basically like adds a really cool filter onto your photo. So let me take a photo to show you. There we go. It basically just adds like a really cool like retro effect and yeah a lot of people use it for their Instagram photos. It's a really good app. And then I have Visco or VSCO, whatever you want to say. Um, I've had this app for like so many years now just to edit Instagram photos. I don't edit all of my Instagram photos. So for example if I want to edit this photo, so you click the two little bar things with the circle on and then what I do is click the two little bars with the circle on, scroll across your saturation and just turn the saturation up 
to like one or around like one, 1.2. 1 um, and it just makes you look a bit more tanned and like summery. I don't do it for every photo, but if I want to look tanned, then that's what I do. And then the next app I have is Video Star. Again, I don't really use this app. Um, I sometimes use it for my TikToks to do slow mos and stuff. If you have TikTok, you'll know what slow mos are. Then I have Kind Master. I don't even know what that is. I literally have no clue what that, what that is, so I'm going to delete that. And then I have Rotate Video, which I'm going to delete as well because I don't know why I have that on my phone. That is that folder done. The next folder I have is Social Media. I just have all of my social medias that I use. So the first one I have is Instagram. So here is my Instagram. It would mean the world if you guys could follow me because I'm trying to be active, although I'm really bad at posting on Instagram, but I'm always posting on my Instagram story. So if you guys want to like see when I'm gonna post on YouTube or just see what I get up to, then definitely go follow me on Instagram and watch my Instagram stories because I'm really active on there. And the next app I have is Snapchat. This is my YouTube Snapchat is just Flora Louisa, so the same as all of my social medias. I've actually made my account so that you guys can't message me anymore because I got a lot of like weird inappropriate messages from boys and stuff. So I've had to make it private so that like only people that I'm friends with can message me. Um, you can't message me on there anymore but you can message me on my Instagram. And then I have TikTok which I'm obsessed with. This is my TikTok account, my username is Flora Louisa. I've got quite a lot of followers on there to be honest but I haven't been that active recently but I'm trying to get more active soon and then I have Twitter and um, I never use Twitter but I do have an account if you want to follow me my username is Flora Louisa and then I have house party which is private as that's what I use to like kind of like FaceTime my internet friends and school friends and stuff and then I have Facebook which is private I have Facebook Messenger which again is private well like it's part of Facebook and then I have YOLO which I used like so many months ago you know that anonymous thing that like loads of like year sevens do it's that app. I don't know why I have it. I tried it once. I haven't used it since. And then I have a folder called favorite apps. So the first app I have is Flow, which is an app where you can track your period. Okay, I'm going to start my period tomorrow. That's great. Um, but yeah, it's just a really good app um, so that you can track your period. So it tells you when you're next going to have it. It's pretty accurate, to be honest. Like normally it's a few days like out, but it's pretty accurate. And then I have countdown. Basically, you can just like add an event like your birthday or Christmas and it just counts down the days to that event. So pretty good app. And then I have sub count, which just tells me how many subscribers I have. Currently we're on 30,231, which is amazing. So thank you guys so much. The next app I have is Puffin. Um, this is like a really hard app to explain, like if you don't do YouTube, but basically it's like kind of like the internet that you have on your computer, but on your phone. It basically allows you to add your thumbnails to your videos, which you can't do on your phone yet. Basically, if you're a YouTuber, then this app is good. And I have BT Mobile, which just tells me like how much mobile data I have left. Then I have the Alexa app, obviously for my Alexa. My Alexa just turned blue because I said Alexa. Alexa, hello. Okay, here's greetings. Hi there. Okay. And the next app I have is Unidays, uh, which is like a student discount app. Then I have Right Move. I'm really nosy at like looking at houses that are for sale. That sounds really weird, but I just like to know like what houses are for sale in my area. I just love looking at houses. Like I love looking around them. That might sound weird, but I've just always like had an interest in houses. The next app I have is Trainline, which is where you can book trains. And then I have Google Earth. Again, like the similar thing to the houses. I like to like look up certain places in the world and like look at the houses. And then I have Kahoot. Some teachers play Kahoot in lessons. Basically like an online quiz which your class can play. Then I have First Choice which is where you can book holidays. I love looking at holidays as well. Maybe my job will be something to do with holidays or houses, I don't know. But then I have Photo Math where you can like take a photo of a maths like question and it will give you the answer. Then I have Jet2 Holidays which again is like a holiday booking app. Then I have EY Buses which is a like online like bus timetable thing. Then I have Tui Magic Life, which is like a range of hotels that um, Tui do. The hotel that I stayed in when I went to Turkey was 
a Tui Magic Life one, it was the Tui Magic Life Water World. And basically they have an app so that when you're staying at the hotel, you can like book restaurants and you can order stuff to your room and stuff like that. Really good app. Also it has a timetable of like what's going on in the day at the hotel. The next folder I have is music. In here I have Spotify, which is what I use to listen to music as it's free. I don't have premium just because I'm like really tight and I don't like to spend my money and stuff like that. Then I have the app Shazam, which is basically like if you're listening to a song on the radio, you can click the Shazam button and it will tell you what song it is and who the artist is. So yeah, it's really good. And then I have Apple Music, which I don't use. And then I have Amazon Music, which again, I don't use. Um, I got a three months trial, but I haven't used it since because I use Spotify because it's free. Then I have a folder called Entertainment. And in here I have the ITV Hub, Netflix and the Love Island app. Yeah, I just have ITV Hub and Netflix if I want to watch like TV, but I tend to watch it on my MacBook, on my iPad. I don't really watch it on my phone. And the next folder I have is shopping. So the first app in here is Pretty Little Thing. I love Pretty Little Thing so much. Pretty Little Thing, please sponsor me. I'm like obsessed with your clothes and I love looking on the website. And then I have Depop. My Depop is Flora Louisa, so please go follow me and buy my clothes. Oh, I've got a message that I need to reply to. And then I have PayPal. Then I have JD because again, I love JD clothes. Then I have 21 buttons. If you don't know what it is, basically you can upload your outfits and then you can tag where you got your clothes from. People can buy them and you make a bit of money out of it. My username is Flora Louisa. And then I have nationwide so I can check how much is on my debit card. And then I have eBay. Then I have Student Beans, which again is another student discount app. Then I have Boohoo. I know use that I'm gonna delete that and then I have misguided again I literally never use that so I'm gonna delete them okay I just deleted apps that I don't use the last app I have in this folder is I saw it first which is a really good clothing shop actually then I have games so I don't really ever use them but I have color switch hop sack wishbone prank dial and helix jump I literally never use them so I'm not going to talk about them and the last folder I have is extra so in here I just have podcast tips find iPhone find friends contacts files watch Apple store clips garage band keynote numbers pages iTunes U voice memos calculator measure compass safari tube map which is basically like a map of all of the tubes in london then i have google drive google docs sheets quizlet and just eat where you can order food to your house that is everything that i have on my iphone xs so i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you are new and i'll see you guys all next week for a new video bye